And now to our lab. But this time we've hidden it in a top secret location. So secret that in fact even Dr. Zahn doesn't know where it is. I am Lymph Node Man. It's time for some amazing experiments. Just Ooh. don't try anything you see here at home. Today, we're going to show you why you need spit, or saliva, as we doctors say. Spit, dribble, slobber, whatever you call it, saliva really is wonderful stuff and important for keeping our mouths healthy and clean. But where does it come from? Well, to help us discover that, we need the help of a gleeker. A what? A gleeker. You know what a gleeker is? Well, yes, I do know what a gleeker is. I mean, of course I know what a gleeker is. I just don't think we have one. You know, in the cupboard? Of everything? That isn't a problem, Zand. Leave it to me. Attention, everyone. This is Dr Chris. With any gleekers in the hospital, please make their way to the secret lab immediately. That is all. Now we just need to wait. Come in. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jack. I heard you needed a gleeker. In that case, you can do that thing that gleekers do. I think it would just be easier if I show you that. Great! Gleek away! Zond! Wait! You're going to need these. What? What for? For the gleeking! Oh, for the gleeking, yes, of course. Of course I need these for the, uh, the gleeking. Stand back. Gleek away! Wow! That's amazing! I think we need to see that one more time in slow motion. Jack is doing this in the name of science. But remember, we're in the don't try this at home lab. Got it? When Jack gleeks, he's squirting saliva from his submandibular salivary gland out through a duct under his tongue called the Wharton duct. And that's it right there. So you have two other sets of saliva glands. Your parotids, which sit here and release saliva into your cheeks, and your sublingual glands, which release saliva under your tongue. Well, thank you, Jack, to you and your amazing saliva glands. You're very welcome, man. Which is the quickest way out of here? Oh, the quickest way is uh, that door on the right. OK. Now we've got a gleeker in the cupboard of everything. Whether you can gleek or not, you do have the same salivary glands as Jack. Well, why do you need saliva? As well as keeping your mouth fresh and healthy, saliva has another very important job. It helps you eat and swallow. It's 99% water, but there's a magic 1% containing mucus, which is what makes saliva slippery and slimy and helps you swallow. Now, if you want to know what this 1% magic mix does to the water in your saliva, well, this is something you can try at home. Wash your hands and then take a pinch of saliva between your thumb and forefinger, like this. And then if you lift your thumb and finger apart very slowly, what you can see is a strand of mucus with little beads on it. Now, that is made by long protein molecules. That's what makes the water thick and helps it act as a lubricant for food. So to show you how amazing your mucusy saliva is, I bring you the Spit Slide Challenge. <laughs> is that Zond and I have a bowl each with some teeth to chew up this plate of food. We're going to chew up the food, put it in our mouths, and send it down the tube that goes from our mouths to our stomachs. There is only one twist, and that is only one of us will have a bottle of saliva. And that one is me. Me. It's me. me. It's me. No, me. It's I'm going to have it. Sweet. Well, that bloke looks just like you, does he? So he does. Let the chewing begin. What? This Come isn't on. fair. Get on with it. Zahn's adding some saliva to his bowl of chewed food. Exactly what happens in your mouth. But I don't have any for mine. Without saliva, chewing up my food is immensely difficult. It's just formed a big, solid mass in my mouth. Thanks to saliva, my bowl of food is turning into a nice, slimy paste. Time to get it down the hatch. Here you go. Oh, yes! Look at how my food, mixed with saliva, slides down easily. But check out Chris's. Without saliva, my food gets stuck in the throat instead of sliding to the stomach. Chris, you've got to stop. He's choking. He didn't even get to eat his tomatoes yet. Well, you know what this means. What? Chris is in danger? No, that I'm the winner of the Spit Side Challenge. Thanks to saliva. Thanks, saliva. We've shown that you can produce around a litre of saliva every day. 
from three sets of salivary glands. But remember, spitting is unhygienic. And we've shown you that it's also really important for helping you swallow safely. You know what, Chris? I was thinking about Jack the Gleeker and I, I kind of thought, I bet I'm really good at that. What song? A couple of minutes ago, you didn't even know what gleeking was, and now you think you can do it. All right, all right, give it your best shot. <laughs> that was disgusting and very impressive. How did he learn to do that? We're all out and about, hitting the wards. You've got a question for me. With our ouch bleepers. Ready to answer your medical queries. Have I answered your question? Yes. We're getting in a spin on the children's wing. Dizzy yet, Zand? Rescued by the bleepers. Quick, Chris. The first question is from David, who's had an operation on his legs. David, I got your message. What's your question? So, I have something on my eye. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bump or anything. I can see that. I just really want to know how to get rid of it. What's the diagnosis, Doc? It sounds to me like you have a case of, I've got a lump on my eye and I want to know how to get rid of it, itis. Precisely, Chris. Probably it's a blocked oil gland. If you get a hot towel with some hot water in it and press it on the eyelid a few times a day, it'll gradually just disappear. The problem in your eye, it's very minor. Why are you in hospital for it? I'm not in hospital because of my eye, Chris. It's about these. So tell me about this. So basically, I have a condition called a chondroplasia, which reduces the amount of bone growth in your legs and arms. So why have you had the frames put on the leg? I want to increase my height. Mm -hmm. I have a break in my leg halfway through. Who made the break in your leg? The surgeon. And then he put pins in both ends of the bones. So what you're going to do is gradually move those frames apart, the bone will start to grow back together, then you move it apart again. And then in about six or 12 months, I'll grow about 10 centimetres there. You know what, David, I've learned so much. That I'm going to give myself the ouch sticker. Give that sticker to David, Chris. I'll see you later. What? Come back. Ronks, let's see if Connor's question deserves a sticker. He's got cancer and is in hospital for chemotherapy. I hear you've got a question for me. Why does Dr. Cooper say you make my wee bright red? Because it's absolutely crazy. What's the diagnosis, Doc? That sounds like a case of, why does one of my chemo medicines, doxyrubicin, turn my urine red? Because it's crazy! Itis. Now that was impressive. <laughs> Doxyrubicin, as you know, is a medicine that's used to treat cancers, and especially your cancer, which is Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now, it's bright red when it goes in, isn't it? And it's bright red when it comes out. The red pigment in doxyrubicin, the body just doesn't need it, so the kidneys just flush it out and the urine will always be red. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't cause any pain. Does that answer your question? Yes, thanks, Dr. Rung. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. See you later, Connor. Bye. Bye. Over to you, Zond. It's time to get up because a question's just come in from Binay. Have you got a question for me? When make our lips chap? What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds to me like a case of I want to know why people get chapped lipsitis. Don't we all? The medical word for chapped lips is chelitis. So the reason it happens is because our lips get dried out and the skin is so fragile, it can then crack, and then it gets inflamed. There are two big causes of chapped lips. The first is dehydration, and the other is a combination of wind and saliva. When you lick your lips and then a cold wind dries them up, they can get irritated and inflamed. And so the solution is drink enough water and use some lip balm. Well, Benet, it's been lovely to meet you. There you go. Question answered. Job done. Clinic closed. <laughs>